Well, um, I promised I'd do this, and I'm going to keep my word. This is the list of my greatest hip-hop of all time. Not the greatest, yeah, the greatest, ten, he said, my top ten rappers of all time. So I'm going to start it off with a female rapper, because uh, she ain't that old. She's kind of tight. Um, the way her rap is uh, uh, transformed, uh, the dance realm is a... Uh, pretty phenomenal for a single artist to be doing this. Uh, my number 11 is Missy Elliott. Um, you know, because uh, she's tight. And she's uh, dark skin and she got a little jello. I like that. So, um, and the second is a group of MCs. It's like they made hip hop special. They made rap rap. I mean, you know, ever since Tougher Than Leather, they have been, you know, what hip hop should be all about. I'm going with Run DMC at my number 10 spot. And this guy right here is relatively new. He's the hot man right now. Um, he's Rick Ross, the people's boss, at number 10. I think his hip hop is going to take us to the next level if he don't get too, uh, what's the word, um, commercial with it. If uh, T-Pain and... Uh, Akon and all those guys don't make it sound like an Akon T-Pain record. He'll be doing good. And then I'm going to flash you back one more time with these two guys right here who who they brought they brought power to hip hop and they made it, you know, tight, you know. I mean, it Eric B and Rakim, you know, Rakim is the motherfucker and Eric B is on the cut. Y'all got to know the beats that Eric B put down back in the days, you know, transform the way people think about hip hop plus He's the one that, Eric B was the first one to actually transform on a record. Um, you know, Eric B and Rakim come in at number nine, I believe. No, uh, number eight, I believe. Then we're going back with another group from way back. Um, it was three of these guys, you know, and um, they was funny in the movie Disorderlies, and these motherfuckers right here made hip-hop fun, and it was fun when you saw the fat boys do their thing. You know, so I'm going with the fat boys in there. Wait, 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 wait. 11, 9, 8, Eric B was 7, fat boys was 6. And, um, and number 5, uh, this guy, he had a very short hip-hop career. His career was like one or two albums maybe. Um, but he wrote some of the greatest shit that you ever heard. And uh, that's the D.O.C., do you remember the DLC from way back in NWA? Uh-huh. I thought you would. <clears throat> and after the DLC, because his lyrics were strong, and, you know, the DLC was tight. And the only person I thought was as tight as the DLC, or even tighter, was DMX. Because that motherfucker will bring it to you. Well, my dogs at DMX is the power voice of hip hop and then you go to another Bay Area classic a Bay Area classic from California Oakland California Mr. Too Short he's the one that got you all calling bitch without Too Short screaming bitch because he was macking and pimping and all that shit y'all wouldn't even have understood the word and the word would not be commercial today if it wasn't for Too Short now there's a tie between these next two. Um, these next two artists, you know, I like them both because they're different. I like one because he started one way and he made it. And I like the other because he's still doing what he's doing. So I got E-40 and Ice Cube right there at the number two spot. And the number one MC, the greatest MC of all time, all throughout history and life itself, is me because if you don't make yourself number one well nobody else will and that is my top 11 MCs and hip hoppers of all time and remember number one was me well hey sometimes the only best vote you can get is the vote that you cast for yourself stay up stay strong stay real and you've been tubed